What's up, YouTube? It's Deke here, and I'm back with another video. And, yeah, it's a Minecraft video again. And, honestly, I'm loving Minecraft again. I am so pumped to be back into this game. Uh, I found the server, and I fell in love with it instantly. And I've been just been on the server every time I get on the Internet, you know, even though I'm not on that much. But every time I'm on the Internet, I'm on Minecraft. And I'm either streaming and doing Minecraft or making videos and stuff. And, yeah, so today I figured I'd bring you guys a video. And... I just kind of wanted to describe my last, my one video about the uh, server tips and advice. It's kind of outdated, so I figured I would break this up into smaller bits and pieces of it and describe certain parts of it at one point. And right now I'm just kind of running around the spawn, not doing anything. But uh, I mean, there's not much to do in this video other than to discuss what I believe are good things to have when it comes to a server. You're starting up a new server, uh, so the topic I'm going to be talking about today is the whole idea of staff and sp and your spawn and just the look of your server and the feel for your server because honestly when most people join your server the first thing to look at is your spawn right and what i hate is when i join a server and there's a f like 50,000 signs and you know stuff like this is you know all up in your face and stuff and i really don't like that and that tends to draw people away because you know they don't want to sit there and have to read everything and with this server i join and you know there's just one little tip and it's a very important tip if you do slash rank up you get your own kit kit villager and that's great and on, on this side you have your your uh, staff and I can tell you the staff on this server is amazing uh, I feel like they're a little shorter on staff but the one the staff is on they're great uh, they do their job but when it comes to picking your staff you want to make sure it's someone that you trust and a lot of servers have like applications you fill out and stuff like that and I feel like that's the right way to do it, but honestly, there's more to it than just an application. You have to do an interview. You have to try to understand, you know, what this person just wants to do with your server, you know? Like, are they going to try and just become admin or mod just to, you know, tear down your server? Or are they actually willing to help? Like, you, you want people that are going to be willing to help your server grow and become a bigger and bigger community. And with this server, there's so much potential with the staff because... They're all really nice, and they're always welcoming you and stuff like that, and that's what you look for. You look for people that are like that, and uh, this server really does have it going. So, And also, when it comes to staff, um, <clears throat> like you don't want to just pick someone that's joined your server like a couple of days ago. You want someone that's been there for a long time, and they understand what the whole server is about, and they understand the ins and outs of it, because... A lot of little kids try and join the servers right away and ask for staff. That's all they want. And honestly, I don't know why they expect anything out of that. Because, I mean, really, like, do you really expect to get staff as soon as you join a server? Like, like I said, the biggest thing is trust. And you don't really have much trust after you gain a, you join a server for one for you know one day or anything like that. So there's no chance anyone's going to trust you or the owner's going to trust you or anything like that. And, um... And that's a really big part of when it comes to making a server and picking out your certain staff. Like, if you have a good staff and people that are willing to help, then that makes the uh, server a lot more enjoyable for players. And this server has a really good, really good idea for that. And like I said, I'm not, you know, overcrowded with a bunch of freaking signs sit, uh, sitting up everywhere. And there's just there's one little you know notice there, and honestly, when I first joined the server, I did that. I didn't have to sit here and click all these signs and stuff. And some servers, but you go through a tutorial to get into the server. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like that's way too much just to get into the server. Like, and this server, you're not like crowded by roles and stuff too. Like, I mean, roles on here are really simple. Like, look, there's like three roles, and Honestly, these, this is like the best roll system I've seen in a long time. They're not making it so that, you know, some servers make it so you can't even freaking breathe. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, they have so many rolls, and honestly, and like, it's just not worth, you know, playing on those servers. So, that's what I'm, that's I'm done talking about the staff for now, because, you know, I think you guys got the idea. Like, because they are very, 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 very important, and people don't take it seriously, and you really do need to take it pretty seriously, because... If you don't take it serious, then your server is not going to be as successful as you want it to be. And for my next topic, I'm going to be discussing uh, is the spawn. Now, I know a lot of you guys aren't great builders, 
And I understand that I was a shitty ass builder whenever I was a freaking server owner. I didn't know how to build at all. I always had people do it for me because, you know, like it would look a lot better when other people did it for me. And then when they were done, I would edit it and do all this stuff and, you know, put all the signs and everything up. And yeah, and it's just, I just couldn't do it. So, and with this, and this server here is a great spawn. I mean, honestly, I love these kind of spawns, like little villages and stuff. Like, I think it looks really, really, really nice. And. I mean, I don't know, like, if if you can't build a spawn, try and have someone do it for you, like, even if you have to pay them. I mean, you have to spend money to make money, so, if you want your server to look nice, you have to have a really nice spawn, and that's the first thing people see when they come in your server. If they see a server with a really crappy spawn, I mean, what they think is that there's not a whole lot of work put into it. Like, with this server, I can tell that they put a lot, a lot of work into it, and... Running a server, you can't just expect to start your server and start making all this money because it's not how it works. Like you have to build up, and if you want if you want this to work, you need to put a lot of work into it. And another thing about the server spawns, I mean, look how detailed it is. Like it's not simple. Like there's a lot of work put into it. And like when servers are spawns and they're squares, I hate that when people make spawns and they're just squares. I used to do that all the time when I built my spawns. And it just, it looked so fucking shitty that I just, I couldn't even put it as, like, the spawn. Like, I had to just delete it instantly. Like, I hate squares. Make it detailed. Make it look nice. If you want people on your server, you have to have a good first impression. And that's the big, that's one of the, another big thing is the staff and the server spawn. That's the first impressions you get from the server. If someone joins your server and they're not welcomed, and they feel like the, no one really gives a shit about them joining the server for the first time, that's just a that's a bad sign. So, I mean, that's that's my little rant about this topic. Uh, I'm sure there's so much more I could discuss, but those are just kind of the basics, I guess. And like, you know, hopefully this kind of helps you guys out a little bit. I mean, this is what I kind of did whenever I had my own server. I mean, my server wasn't really popular. It's about it's kind of like this server right now. I mean, there's what there's five six people on here at night, and then like during the day it was kind of like 10, 15 people. You know most of the time and that's normal and honestly I was so proud of what I did and I know that I worked hard for it and I mean working hard and having success is a great thing because you realize you earned it by yourself you worked hard for something and you know you did it all in your all by yourself and with the help of your friends so that's it for this video guys if you like the video make sure to leave a like down there please Leave a comment if you disagree with anything or if you agree or have anything else to add to what I said. I know I kind of just ranted and I'm sure there's so much more that could be said about this topic. But, I mean, those are that's just kind of my opinion. I'm sure everybody else has their own opinion. But, yeah, if you guys liked it, make sure you like the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for other content like this. All right, see ya. <laughs>